Hey guys, welcome back to another video. We've said goodbye to Chicago on our family road trip and we're now in South Dakota. We soon get to experience Badlands National Park and of course, Mount Rushmore. By the way, the food in Chicago is amazing. Chicago style hot dog, five stars. Italian beef sandwich, five stars. Chicago deep dish pizza, eh, maybe two to three stars. Not a huge fan of stuffing my face with mostly bread and cheese. Okay, so in this video, I wanna clarify and really be specific on the most recent dividend income strategy we talked about, specifically how we can generate hundreds and thousands of dollars every month by utilizing the dividend espresso income strategy, where we combine dividend income as well as a covered call strategy, and also how we can utilize this strategy in a small portfolio to generate a significant amount of income. There are plenty of dividend stocks, as I'm gonna show you in this video, that you can own 100 to 200 shares of in a small portfolio. <laughs> So here's the thought process behind this strategy. This is a great way to dive into new positions. Yes, I do have a significant amount of capital set aside for SPY and QQQ in my self-directed 401k. However, a good portion of my other capital I'm utilizing to jump into new positions with this income strategy. Again, this is because I am prioritizing cash flow now as opposed to accumulating more shares for the long term. My strategy is going to change after our road trip in 2024. But for now, we're all about maximizing cash flow. So let's be specific on the strategy here. Number one, identify good quality dividend paying stocks. And by quality, I mean dividend stocks that have a history of raising their dividend year after year for at least five consecutive years. Here are just a few examples of low priced dividend stocks with this history. Altria Group, ticker symbol MO, Verizon, ticker symbol VZ, Walgreens Boots Alliance, WBA, US Bank Corp, a dividend stock I'm utilizing this strategy in right now, ticker symbol USB, Pfizer, PFE, Cisco, CSCO, that one's on my radar for next week, Bank of America, BAC, Comcast, CMCSA, and more. We identify these dividend stocks with an upcoming ex-dividend date. And within three to five business days prior to that ex-dividend date, we purchase this stock. If you wanna get fancy, you can start with a cash secured put to generate additional cash flow, though personally, I like the idea of just buying right in because then I can control the price at which I write my covered call. So number two, complete a buy right strategy where I buy the stock and immediately write a covered call above my cost basis, but still aggressive with the goal of getting assigned. And that's not because I want to lose my shares, it's because I'm trying to be as efficient as possible and as profitable as possible. If I can collect a dividend, collect option premium, and have those shares get called away at a profit in two to three days, that is a winning formula over and over again. If for some reason I don't get assigned because the price of the stock goes down below my cost basis or because the price just is flat and doesn't reach my strike price, that's okay, I can continue to write covered calls. And this is also why you must pick quality dividend stocks you are okay with owning long term. Yes, there are tax efficiency issues here if you're doing it in a brokerage account. So first off, if possible, choose a retirement account to avoid those tax inefficiencies. But number two, you're still profitable here. So if you do have tax implications, even if they're short term capital gains, it's still not a big problem as long as you are consistently profitable which is not that hard to do with this strategy. Here's the stock that I mentioned previously that I also covered in my Patreon community, which you should definitely join, by the way, if this is at all interesting to you, link in the description below. I bought 200 shares of USB, US Bank Corp, and I immediately wrote a covered call at the $32.50 strike price. My cost basis was $32.05 right here. Since then, the stock has gone up, which is exactly what I wanted it to do because the ex-dividend date was 629. I bought it on 628 at 3205 per share. It has since gone up above my strike price, but it did so after the ex-dividend date, which is fine by me. In fact, I'm hoping the price currently 3276 stays elevated above 3250 so that my shares will get called away in a matter of three business days. This would be my best case scenario here. A $48 dividend, 48 cents times 200 shares equals $96 plus capital appreciation at 45 cents, 32.50 strike price minus 32.05 cost basis times 200 shares equals $90 capital appreciation plus $30 in option premium, $15 per contract equals $216 in cash flow on an initial investment of $6,500 
which is a 3.32% yield in just two days. I mean, that's the type of cash flow you would get from a dividend stock if you held it all year. But if for some reason USB drops below 3250, not a problem. I will continue to write covered calls on USB until I am assigned and I can start over with a new dividend stock. If that means I hold USB for a week, two weeks, five months, a year, it's not a problem for me. I like USB. It's a quality dividend stock. And with stocks like USB, you can own multiple hundreds of shares for less than $10,000. You could do USB right here. Then you could also add 100 shares of Walgreens Boots Alliance and complete the same type of strategy. You could use Verizon, which again is on my radar here coming up, as well as Cisco, and Comcast Corporation. And just to give you a little bit of perspective here, that $216 of cash flow, if that works out in just three days, let's assume I could just do that once a week, which in theory, I could do it more than once a week. $216 times 52 is $11,000 in cash flow potentially. And if you did that with a $10,000 portfolio, not even 6,000, but 10,000, that is a significant amount of yield. So yes, can you do well with $100,000 in a portfolio? Absolutely with this type of strategy. But it's also got legs with a 50,000, 25,000, and even a five to $10,000 portfolio hundreds of thousands of dollars a year, which can pay for your car payment, it can pay for your mortgage or your rent, or it can just build a portfolio significantly and quickly. And in the future, we'll also highlight dividend stocks that you can take advantage of with a small portfolio that you can generate hundreds, if not thousands of dollars every single year with. Hopefully you found some value and additional clarity out of this video. Make sure to leave your two cents down in the comments below. It is my goal to respond to all comments left on the day I post a new video. That's all I got for you guys in this video. Have a great rest of your day. And for myself and my family on this average Joe Investor road trip, thanks for watching.